God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. What an honor to be called a soldier of the cross. WTJR presents The Pastor Speaks. An army that has never turned back and never suffered loss. Good, good morning. This morning, I pray that the Lord will speak to all of us through His Word this morning. The subject this morning is prayer time time for us to pray. I want to sing a song. Every since this world began prayer has been been a part of man prayer teaches us right from wrong without prayer we can't go on so this morning as we look at Matthew the 6th chapter starting at the 5th verse through 9 then 15 through the end of this this morning Speaking, the fifth verse says, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as a hypocrite, uh, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corners of the street, that they may be seen of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou have shut the door, pray to the Father, which is in secret, and the Father, which sees in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when you pray, use not vain repetition, as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard from their much speaking. But be not therefore lack unto them, for your Father knows what thing ye need. You have, you have need of before you ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. For if ye forgive men thy transgression, your heavenly, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men of thy transgression, neither will your Father forgive your transgression. The Word of God speaks here, we say, the Lord's Prayer. This is a prayer that God taught us to pray. And it's so important that when we begin to pray, recognize and know who we are praying to. Our Father. That, 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 that's a whole remembrance and knowing that you reverence and, and you know who our Father is. Now, when we say our Father, he's talking about the whole world. Everybody. God is the father of everyone. There's no accepted father. 
He's the father of his children. He's the father of this whole world. Because God made this world. God is the father of everything. So we need to remember, we need to pray to our father in secret. And God would open our prayer the way that we asked him. But you must be shown up sincere in asking God that to forgive me. It's so important that when we can't forgive, but we want God to forgive us. And when we pray, why I say it's praying time, we forget to remember to thank God for all of these blessings that he has bestowed upon us day by day, night by night, that he watches over us, nobody but the Father. So we ought to thank him. Thank him because God, when you're asking God for this and ask God for that, he already knows what we need, what we want, God knows everything about us. Before we came in the world, he already knew. The blueprint was already written. And God knows. So it's so important that we must remember it's praying time. That Satan is busy everywhere you go. Every, even much in your mind, in your thoughts. Get in your, in your heart to, to forget about where our blessings come from. Forget to say thank you for eyes to see. We say, oh, thank you for my body, and that's it. But you need to thank God individually for my eyes, for my tongue. Because somebody can't even talk, have a tongue. Somebody got eyes and can't see. But God blesses us that we have all these blessings that we need to pray to God to thank you. It's not so much of asking God, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. It's so much that said, thank you, for I can walk. Give me legs to walk. Hand to wave my hand. Thank you. Giving God the glory and praying in secret. Now, there are people that love to pray, it said, on the corner, on the street corner to be seen. Now, why they get on the corner that it makes sure that everybody coming, going to car, going this way, going that way, be seen. You don't get no glory out of one man to glorify you. Man cannot give you nothing. Everything that God blesses us with through man is from God. So we ought to give God reverence to his holy name. Reverence to Jesus who died that we have a right to the tree of life. So this, this day that, that if we, we ought to go on from day to day remembering that our Father, that, that he's not just earthly Father only. He's a heavenly Father. And from heaven that he gave us, us his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Our Father. When we get up in the morning, we ought to think, our Father. We ought to pray, our Father. When we go to the bathroom, we ought to thank God for relief or just going in, be able to go in. But God has blessed us with all these convenience things that we forget to give God the glory. So he says, when you pray, say, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be. God's name is holy. He is a holy God. I don't know about you, but I know he's holy because he blessed me day by day and night by night, not by my goodness, but by his grace and his mercy. God is a good God. He is our Father. Then when you think about our Father being so good and so kind and so merciful unto us that he gave us his only begotten son. Now we all were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. But God gave us Jesus Christ. 
and he died that we don't have to live in sin. That's a blessing. That's a good father. That's a good God that feed us. Now you sit at the table and there's no food there. But God, when you go to God, he will feed you. He will close you. And he give you five senses to know. And then he give us this spirit that God give us the spirit of knowing right from wrong. Thank God for Jesus who gave his life that we have a right to the tree of life. Not only have a right, but he give us eternal life. All we got to do is believe in our Father through Jesus Christ that he give us this privilege. Father is a good God. He is a merciful God. Without God, what can we do? We can't do nothing. But we ought to just steal away. Not just on Sunday, but all the time. Pray in season and pray out of season. It is praying time. Way things are going on around about us. We see tornadoes, storms, heat. Never been like this before. Jesus is on his way back. His words say, I'm coming back after my church without a spot or wrinkle. So it's praying time that we need to pray that I'll be ready and get myself ready day by day that when he come, I'll be able to go back with him. Now, if you are a sinner and living on I, you're going to die and go to hell. But Jesus give us a mind to know left from right. That if you believe in him, he will give us eternal life. I'm glad that I've been born again. I'm glad that I recognize that God is my father. He is my heavenly father. He is my earthly father. Because down here, Jesus has given us an opportunity to worship him and praise his holy and righteous name. So we ought to pray, Father, for the Lord to lead me. We sang the song, but do you really want God to lead you and guide you? If God leads you and guides you, you cannot go wrong. But you must remember Satan don't want you to remember where your blessing come from. Day by day, God smiled on us. Thank God that God does not let justice have his way. If justice had his way, we wouldn't be here. Because I know I haven't lived every day like I should since Jesus saved me. Since I become a Christian, I haven't lived every day like I should. But Jesus, grace and mercy keeps on blessing me, giving me a chance day by day that I'm able to say thank you, Jesus. And it's so important to thank God for being good and kind to us. It's time for us to start praying Thanking God for the sunshine and the rain. Thank God for the heat. Thank God for the convenience. All of these conveniences that we have now, we ought to thank God. We ought to pray to God, Lord, move my stumbling block. Move my self-righteous. Move my prayer. That my prayer would be to you and not to man or to be heard up and down the street. But Lord, let me live that I can thank you like I ought to thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for this radio station and TV station. Thank you for all the convenience that you have given us opportunity to, to broadcast. 
You give opportunity to, to see things that we ought to glorify you. You made everything. But we mess up every time you bless us with a blessing that we use it for something else, not to glorify you. But I come this day to say thank you to glorify me. I got your word. And your word is that you say you lead me and guide me. All I do is follow. So, Father, let us pray in day and night to remember to forgive each other. For Satan don't want us to forgive one another. If somebody do me wrong, I'm going to get them back. If somebody killed my cat, I'm going to kill that dog. That's the way we let Satan put in our mind, in our hearts. But we ought to just turn around and say, Lord, forgive me as I forgive my brother, my sister. And Lord, not only pray for my family, but pray for my brothers and sisters. And also pray that I would be able to tell the sinner that you love him too. For God, we think that we are saved just to be saved. But I know you save us, that we would try to save somebody else, not in our name, but our Father in Jesus' name. It's so important that we need to pray for the whole world. Lord, we got people saying that the world has changed. I got news for those that go around and say the world has changed. Nobody changed, but the people have changed. The sun come up from the east, go down in the west. When it started going down in the north and coming up in the south, then I said the world have changed. You made this world, and the world is in your hand. Thank you, Jesus, that you are our Father in heaven and in earth. You know we thank God for being our Father. When we pray, we ought to pray for those who don't know you in the pardon of the sin. I thank you, Lord, to take me to visit the hospital and visit the rest home and see those people, some can't feed themselves. But you bless me to feed myself. Thank you. You bless me to walk, some in wheelchair, some head all turned sideways. But, Lord, here we are, so that can walk and talk, and you blessing us, and we don't want to praise your holy and righteous name. We don't want to thank you. We don't want to give you reverence to all these blessings that we do now receive. So our Father, as we pray for the whole world, we pray this morning for those that don't know that you are our Father. But we pray for those that know you are our Father and they don't stop praying. It is praying time that we all will pray, not in our name, but Jesus, in your name, that we pray to thank you because you are holy. Thank you for being a holy and a righteous God. Thank you for your word. For you said in your word that you the same today that you were yesterday. That you don't change. Uh, no one changed, but the people change. Uh, we don't worship you like we used to worship you. We won't even praise your name like we used to pray. But our Father is praying time for every preacher, every teacher, Every son of God, uh, we have time for us to pray to you, Lord, and thank you for being God all by yourself. Woo we, Jesus, uh, we need to uh, stand uh, firm on our belief in your word. Tell the devil to uh, leave us alone uh, because you are our father. And thank God that you are a good father. Uh, I thank you, Jesus. Uh, I got your word. And, uh, your word told me to pray uh, in season and, and pray out of season. Pray that I forgive uh, my enemy. Uh, pray for I forgive. Uh, Lord, I want you to forgive me, uh, but I pray for my enemy to uh, forgive them. Uh, 
uh, they don't know what to do. Jesus, I thank you this morning uh, that you woke me up uh, right on time. Uh, I want to thank you, our Father, uh, for this world uh, that you have made. Uh, Lord, I thank you for the animal, uh, everything uh, that you put in our hand. Uh, let us go back uh, to the old landmark where we started from uh, to praise you and to pray to you. Uh, give you all the glory, and not, not some, but all the glory for, for one more day. Uh, every day, Lord, you wake us up. Uh, we ought to thank you. Uh, every hour, we ought to thank you, Jesus. Uh, every time we think about it, uh, the old song you just sang, uh, every time I feel uh, the Spirit moving, uh, I will pray. It's so important that we need to pray, Jesus. Uh, pray in season. Uh, pray out of season. Uh, thanking you for being uh, our Father. I know you're a good God. Uh, you are a merciful God. Uh, Lord, have mercy upon us that, that we will begin to start praying all over the land, all over the country, and praying to you to thank you for being good to you. You could have tornado, could have hit here day by day, but you missed us in the Father all around about you. You have shown us that you are God, that that's on the power is in you, Jesus. Nobody can just blow a tree down. Nobody can move a mountain. Uh, nobody can move the earthquake. Uh, you God, we ought to thank you, Jesus. Uh, what happened in other cities uh, could happen to right here in this city uh, and all around about it, but thank you, Jesus. You passed over us, so we got a right to thank you. Uh, we need to pray. Uh, it's praying time uh, that we need to wake up and pray to you, Jesus, for being good and being kind. Our Father, we need to pray in season. Every time we think about it, we ought to pray. Thank God for my feet. Thank God for my mind. We ought to pray while we have a chance because time is running out. We need to pray. It is praying time. God has given us a pattern to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be his name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And when God will be done, he blesses us. It's so important to know that God will be done if we'd only pray. He saved us to go out and save others. You cannot serve God in the house. You serve God by going out, telling others about the goodness of God, about his grace, about his mercy, about his kindness. By God, is, is, he's, he's everything, everything to us. So we ought to pray. And worship him. Worship God because God saved us that we would shine for him. I don't want to shine for, for, for somebody else. I want to please God. This is our motive. This is our aim. This is God made us to please him. We are his servant. And you don't take the servant and use him like you want to use him. You think when somebody serves you, God bless us to serve others in his name. Now, when you serve somebody in your name, nobody get the glory but you. Be patted on the back. God wants us to worship him, want us to serve him, pray to him. Whatever you need, he got it. Whatever you want, God got it. And he knows what we need better than we know ourselves. Flesh tell us we need this, we need that. Need ten pairs of shoes, we need four or five hats, we need five, six suits to dress up. But our heart is far from dressing up for the Lord. So sisters and brothers, all over this world, whoever listen at this program, listen at this service, listen at this sermon, you need to know it's praying time. It's time for us to quit playing 
with God. God is not something to be played with. God is serious. God is sincere. God is our Father. That's the blessed part to know who our Father is. Knowing that God is our Father. He watches over us. He takes care of us. He feeds us. He clothes us in his own power. And God is powerful. You can see on the news that our Father is powerful. And we ought to have the fear of God within us that we don't mess up, that we don't slack from praying, we don't slack from giving God the glory, giving God praise, recognize that God is our Father and sisters and brothers this day. I want to leave this with you, that God is our Father, and we ought to pray day and night. Thank you. I want to leave this with you. I'm going to leave you, leave in the hand of the Lord. Mm. Like a mother told a little child, seemed like yesterday before she died. Said, I'm gonna leave you. Whoa, I got, I got, I got to leave you. I'm gonna leave you in the hand of the Lord. Remember that you're in good hands <clears throat> in the Lord. So if you just hold out until tomorrow, everything will be all right. Remember, if you just hold on till tomorrow, everything will be got to make it all right. If you just hold out just a little while longer, everything will be going to make it all right. If you just keep the faith through the night, everything will be, I know, God will make it out all right. God bless you. Weapons are not carnal. Our strongholds you can't see. This army.